We are starting a new week. It's actually Friday night and I just finished one vlog. So the last thing you'll have seen from last week is Kevin mowing the yard and doing the, the weed eater. And are you waiting on me? I'm just waiting to see if you say what I'm doing. Oh, you can go ahead. Um, you'll have seen Kevin uh, mowing the yard and then he weed eat it and then he, um, uh, what is that thing called where you spray everything off? What's that thing called? Uh, leaf blower? Yeah, the leaf blower. And he got the uh, grass off the sidewalk and stuff. So, right now he is preparing, what is this, the rub? Yeah. The big difference is I'm not putting, normally I would put brown sugar in it. I'm not putting brown sugar. Yeah, we bought this, uh, is it a Boston? Boston butt. A Boston butt, which I'll show you in just a minute. And it's huge. This thing sucks. And we bought it about... Gosh, it'll have a date on it. It'll actually have a date on it. So, uh, but we bought it when Kroger was having a sale. They were having like a buy one, get one free sale. So, we still had both of them in the freezer. So, we decided to make one this week, um, weekend. And uh, Kevin normally will make like pulled pork or something like that. But normally, his recipe calls for brown sugar. Lots and lots of brown sugar. Yeah. So... Um... A cup. A cup of brown sugar. But it still takes a half cup of salt, so. So, but I told Kevin, I said, this time I would like to make the same recipe and not use any sugar at all. None. Because you can use all these seasonings and it's not any calories at all. And the only thing I think that he's adding that will have some calories. It's a little bit of honey. Is a little bit of honey. You don't use Worcestershire sauce, do you? Mm -hmm. Oh, you do? I bet Worcestershire sauce has calories. Let me see. I think so. Maybe. Worcestershire sauce. Oh, it's only five calories yeah. for a teaspoon. So, that's not But it's mixed up so much that it shouldn't matter. But I even bought this. Um, I've had this before and it was really good. This G. Hughes sugar-free barbecue sauce. They had the original and the honey. Let's see. There you go. And they had the original and the honey. Guido's. Guido thinks it's time for a treat, and it's not. He's an hour early, and here lately he's been wanting to eat an hour early and get his treat an hour early, and I don't know why, uh, because the time change happened a while back. <laughs> this is coarse. I accidentally picked up coarse black pepper, coarse ground, and boy, you can really smell it. It's strong, isn't it? Yeah, it's very, very strong. One of these bowls, the reason I'm doing two bowls, one of these is for Ashley. And I'm literally adding basically salt and pepper to it. Because Ashley doesn't like um, lots of seasonings. Yeah, she doesn't like it spicy. But we so did. Ours, we're making ours a little spicy. We did a whole video on this. Oh, yeah, making this. Yeah. yeah, we did a whole video on this. So if you're curious about um, the measurements and all that, um, you can find it on my YouTube channel. Oh, but um, yeah, we like ours really, really spicy. And, um, and this is the, so this is the first time that we won't be adding, uh, brown sugar to it, but this is also the first time that we won't be adding the barbecue sauce to the top of it. We're going to wait till we get it on the plate yeah. and add our own because Kevin's barbecue sauce actually has calories and mine doesn't. If so. I even use it, I might even use barbecue sauce. I might just slice yeah, it like it is. I'm wondering if we'll even need it because it's going to be, it's going to have the, the seasonings and... I don't know. I'm going to try it without, but then if I want some, I have it, have that option. So he's going to keep doing this, getting the stuff in the, um, the bowls. And then when he gets the Boston butt out, I'll show it to you. So this is the Boston butts that we're using. And you can tell we bought it back in March, March 23rd was the sell by date. So that's when, that's when we got this one and, uh, another one. It was only $1.99 a pound though. We only pay twelve fifty for this whole twelve fifty, and that's yeah. huge. It is big. So if you wanted to cook it in the crock pot, you could. Probably could, yeah. Oh, I'm sure you could. Any kind of roast. Yeah. But this looks like it has a lot of blood in there. It was frozen solid, so I have had it in the refrigerator for about three days because it was, um, it was like a block of ice. What Kevin's gonna do is he's going to, um, since Ashley doesn't want her spicy like we said, he's going to um, bake hers separate from ours. 
A big bone. Oh, it has a big bone in it. Oh yeah. See, I didn't know. I didn't know what to expect. Miss Ashley's piece and he just has these pans with aluminum foil and here goes ours so make sure that there's a paper no nope. oh that's the no fat. that's not paper that's fat okay yeah make sure there's no paper okay if you grab this and so look how much blood is in there yeah, I tried to leave it like a bowl so you want to wash your hands no, I'm going to get this rub in here anyway. So what do you want me to do? Nothing, just, that can be moved out of the way whenever. Oh, okay. So now you're just going to sprinkle all that? Yeah, and I may not need, you need to use all of it. That smells so good. I love the smell of that. It's the cumin, that's what you smell. And I know it's it's bad for me, but... Uh, well, you got to remember, it's got a lot of salt in it, but... Well, all this salt will go into the liquid on the bottom and you'll yeah. never even see it. Okay. So it's not like we're ingesting all this yeah, salt. Yeah, you're not actually eating all this salt. Probably all I'll do for that one. We're out back because Kevin's going to look at his grill. And now, listen, I'm warning you, this is bad. We haven't cleaned it yet. We haven't cleaned it. Now, we're not cooking the, the meat that you just saw. Um, that was last night. Kevin actually added the uh, liquid to it, to the bottom of the, underneath of it, and it is in the oven right now. We're not making any of that on this grill, but we want to know if the grill is going to work uh, this year, or are we going to have to buy a new grill, because this is how it looks. It looks, it looks ugly, and you see Kevin's put uh, gloves on. Oh, so, wow. Yeah, see how they're all broken? Okay, well, here's the Walmart bags. So what, he was going to buy these, they have them at Walmart, they sell them, and at first he thought, oh, those are too short, and then he read on there, they're actually expandable, so, so they only look to be about that long, wow, those are just as brittle as they can be, wow, I mean, that is like, that is crazy, and the thing is, is this is closed, and they get that brittle. Um, so, he was going to buy them, but then he said, wait a minute, I don't even know if the burners, if, yeah, if the burners are going to get hot. So, I said, well, let's see, let's go home and test it, see if your burners, if your burner works. So, if the burner doesn't work, are you going to buy a whole new grill, or what are you thinking? Uh, they do sell the burners. Oh, it seems to be okay. So, are you, th so it would be cheaper to get the burner and those than it would be a whole new grill? Probably. Yeah. Yeah, I need to. I need to come out here and get, scrape all this out. Is this? What, can you do it with this brush? No, this tray comes out. Oh, okay. All right. So just let me turn the gas on. Okay. Is it safe for me to be standing here with the gas on? Yeah, I don't want like my hair to go up. Whoosh. It's not gonna be like that. It's okay. already on. Right? Okay. All right. Let's try these two. Oh, it works. The burners look okay. Oh, they do. They look really good. So, so, clean them off. so we can buy those expandable things at Walmart yeah. and be set for the year. Yeah. Oh, well, that's great. I so. yeah. I'm gonna clean these off. Because it's this kind of weather. Do you see this? It's gorgeous out here. It's this kind of weather that you want when you want a cheeseburger. This kind of weather means cheeseburger weather. That's what it signifies to, to me anyway. So that sound is probably horrible. So let's walk around here real quick because I want to show you every year I have to show you the same thing. You all know this. I'm going to show you my hostas. <laughs> my hostas are coming up and it's exciting. It's exciting to me. Probably not to you all. See, there's some there. And there. Somebody's mowing the yard. And there we go. And see these roses, these rose bushes, they're over in the, the path. So I'll have to cut those back so you can walk down through here. So, um, yeah, see this is like way over. So I have to step over in these rocks to get past without, because I don't want to snag them on my, um, my sweater or anything. But I love this weather. This is... This is my kind of weather right here. But the rose bushes, the rose bushes are getting a little green on them. 
but that's it for right now but pretty soon uh, they'll be beautiful and I need to come out here I want it to be a tad bit warmer although I love this weather I want it to be a little bit warmer before I start um, working in this um, um, garden how's it looking let's go pull it on the so you don't so you only have to buy two I think so. These look, those look, look good fine. wonder why two look good and two didn't because they were all in the same area, weren't they? Well, yeah, two over here and two over here. Yeah. Were I the mean, two... they're definitely rusty through them, but... How much were those for two? $12. $12 for yeah. two? So it's $24 to get all four of them. Right. It might be worth it. Okay. So, so are you gonna... How do you get that tray to come out? Is it back there? Oh. Where do you plan on dumping that? I'm going to go straight to the Herbie. Straight to the Herbie. How many years has it been since you've dumped this? Um, I did last year. Uh, something I just noticed about these bushes. I think it's funny because every year I come out here and trim the bushes. And if you look at the bushes, you can see that they're about, you know, midway. So you can see where the fence, where the, the bottom of the flags are. And so they're all about the same height. These are a little bit, that one's a little bit shorter, but I mean, I come out here and cut them all the same every year. So you're going and going and going, and then you get this one, and this one's like tall, and then this one's shorter, but then this one is like, wow. It's like, and then you go back down to this one that's underneath. So why is this one so much taller than all the other ones? This is the tallest bush we have. I have no idea. Because I know that I cut them. I cut them all the same, or I try to, unless they're already small. This one's, this one's really the perfect size. But I don't know, I just think that's funny how that one, how that one is so much taller. I wish it was just a little bit warmer so I could work out here. Kevin, look how much taller this bush. This is the tallest bush. Cause look, I cut them all like midways at the same time yeah i wonder why that one decided to grow a lot so oh let's show how it looked yay it looks much better it doesn't matter if it's a little rusty we're just gonna cook steak and cheeseburgers on here oh yeah that looks good so kevin and i are on a walk and i think these are beautiful they're so pretty we were we came by here like a week ago and these were not here and now all of a sudden they've come out and i just think it's beautiful and there's going to be more up here i see this is a magnolia tree and i think they have a few more here oh yeah they do they have some more here if you can see them and then there's some more coming up right here and that tree is blooming and so it looks really pretty against that white house but i love the colors of the tulips and with the sun shining on them it just makes them that much more pretty so here is another tree that's in bloom and it is gorgeous such a pretty pink and they don't last they don't hang around forever but i love it i think it's beautiful you know, last time we walked by here, these leaves were coming out on these trees. No, yeah, now the now the leaves are coming out on the trees. But that that is uh, beautiful, and I see bees buzzing around it already. So this is the um, what's it called? A Boston butt. Boston butt. Uh, this is the Boston butt, and uh, Kevin put the juice in there. Like I said, he did that this morning, and so it's been in for how many hours? A long time. Five. Five so hours. Six. And it's definitely done there. but this is a big piece of meat. So are you gonna put it back in there to let it brown and brown or are you just yeah. gonna leave it? Yeah, see that's all fat. I might turn it over. Uh-huh. Um, because that's fat, literally. I can I is. can see it jiggling. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, I'll probably flip it over. Yeah. And then uh, see how we have a great big fork in there. Right there, if you want it. Right here? Yeah. So, 
Um, I'll show him flipping it over. We'll see what it looks like on the other side. It's usually ugly, but it doesn't matter how it looks, right? It smells the entire house, I can tell you, smells fantastic. It always smells really, really good. Oh, look how tender that was. Yeah, really fun, <gasps> that was so tender it fell apart. <laughs> oh my Split goodness. Yeah. So, are you going to put it back in the oven now? Yeah, I'm going to put it back. Um, just leave this side up. Mm -hmm. And just let it cook. I mean, it's done. But um, it hopefully it'll dry it out just a little bit. Yeah. You don't want it wet. You don't want all that wetness. So Kevin took our Boston butt out and put it on the cutting board. Now normally at this point we would like put it you would either you would shred this. But if we were having the exact same spices and everything with ribs, we would put them on the grill and we would brown them up and then we would put like barbecue sauce on there. Yeah, so, hot. oh is it Ooh, hot spicy? spicy. So we, what we will do now is this is finished. So we'll slice it however we want and I will uh, dip barbecue sauce in it uh, on my plate. And so I will show you what this looks like when I get it on my plate. So this is uh, my plate. This is how we're gonna eat it tonight. Uh, just, I have my meat here and my french fries. These are those Lamb Weston made in Idaho crispy fries and we made them in the deep, no, not the deep fryer, the, the air fryer. We made them in the air fryer and they're very crispy. And then I have this G Hughes sugar-free barbecue sauce. This is the original and I have it on the side and I'm just gonna dip my meat in there. I'm gonna see how it tastes and if I use it, I use it and if I don't, I don't but it is actually 10 calories for two tablespoons so very low calorie we got a box in uh well at the front door today it was, it's a sunday it's a sunday that's what's funny is they don't deliver mail on sunday but the post office delivered this on sunday uh so and he did he did not ring the doorbell either so uh fortunately kevin gets notification on his phone when stuff is here or it would have said on the porch uh but this is from mona in michigan and um i told mona i said everybody that watches my channel now knows mona in michigan <laughs> so yes see she told me that she was sending me this this is a huge bag uh, these are eclairs and these are um Caramel with cocoa cream filling. And these are made by Well Made. That is the brand. And so she she sent us a few to enjoy. What, what else did you do? Oh my goodness. These are um, from, Damla? yes, Damla. Uh, they're made uh, in, in Turkey. And these are sour fruit bursts. And uh, so she had sent us some, uh, she had sent us some, yeah, it says from Turkey. And we tried them, but she did not, they didn't have these, I guess, the sour ones. So she wanted us to have the sour ones. So, Chewies. and these are the Chewies. She told me she was sending these. These are um, uh, well-made as well. And uh, yeah, these are all from, I believe they're all from Turkey. Yeah, product of Turkey. And these are the, the tropical mix. So we're gonna be trying the tropical and the sour and then the eclairs. And I guess the, I think the, I don't know if the eclairs don't come in any packaging uh, on their, um, Cause like we had one of these and I guess that the eclairs don't come in that packaging. So I don't know why the eclairs don't come in those. So I'll, I'll open it a little bit. And she sent me a book. Yes. She told me she was sending me this book. She said that I, she thought Ashley would like it as well. And I have never read this. It is, it says a, now a major motion picture. Uh, it's called wonder. Well, there you I literally can. watched it on the plane. Uh, actually, Ashley said she watched it on the plane. She watched it on the plane. You know. The well, there you go. You know. And she's a fast reader too. Thank you, Mona from Michigan. And she's putting on her makeup. Or I would come see you. 
Um, yeah, she, uh, like, a couple weeks ago, she went to Oklahoma. So, I didn't even, I haven't heard of this movie, have mm -hmm. you? No. No, I haven't heard of it at all. So, um, when Ashley is finished with the book, um, I will have to read the book, and then I'll watch the movie. I'll, I'll actually read, read the, the book, book first. first. And see, Ashley will have already seen the movie and then read the book. But thank you very, very much. You know I appreciate all this. Um, and, of course, we're going to be doing reviews. So, if you're interested in candy from Turkey, then stay tuned. We have two packages that we ordered. And then, let's open this one last. Let's save that for last. Because okay. that's that is from someone. Uh, but uh, we ordered a couple of things ourselves. And I figured... They were coming to the house, so I would just show you things that we ordered. Just like in last week's vlog, I showed you books that I ordered, you know? So this, mm -hmm. you can explain what this is. These are just video cables for, uh, we had to, we had to order Tammy a new computer, finally. It was, uh, the one she had is from 2008, is that Seven. what we're figuring out? 2000, somewhere, 2007, 2008. So, uh, it's really old and really slow. So these are just video cables to go with the new computer. And... As much as I'm grateful, very grateful, I'm very blessed that we could buy the computer. Our address is on that side. Um, you didn't show it. Okay. Um, it's, I don't see it. Oh, it's on this side. I guess. Yeah, but you were turning. Yeah, I was working. You were working your yeah. way around there. Um, as much as I'm very, very grateful that I can have one, it also makes me extremely nervous because. You don't like change. Well, and the I'm, software is different. Mm. The software that I use to edit videos right now is the most simplistic video editing software out there. It's Windows Movie Maker. And they no longer support it. They no longer make it anymore. You can't, can't get it. it. You can't get it at all. So when I get the new computer, which is supposed to be what? Tomorrow. tomorrow yeah but it'll um, take me a couple of days to probably get it are we going to do a box opening of just that oh yeah we'll do a box we opening will. by itself yeah because okay. people want to know what's in what's in it and, and there's questions that, there's questions that i've looked for that don't have it anywhere on there so, so you can it. answer those questions yeah, okay. okay so we'll do a box opening of that but uh with this computer, I have to download new software and start using new software to edit these videos. And it it makes me a nervous wreck because I haven't had to learn anything like that. And I just, I like to be able to just go in there and do it and get it done and go quickly. And this is something where you have to sit there and you have to be patient because you have to learn, you know, how to do it. And I'm, I, you know. But once she learns, she'll be, at, she'll be, I think you'll be faster with this than you are with what you have. The computer will be faster. And the video editing software. Yeah, the software will, yeah, the software will be faster my too. My head will be in no, my it'll be, brain. It'll be faster too. So why did we, we this is coffee. This is cost, I mean, uh, Keurig Costa. Costa. It's, Keurig, it's Keurig coffee. And uh, these are the Gloria Jean, and what's this one? Um, this is the toffee, butter toffee. Yeah, yeah butter, butter toffee, toffee. This, which is Tammy's like favorite. When we got the Keurig machine, they sent us a box of free samples of all different kinds of flavors. And had one of those. Uh, yeah, there was one of these, and and I just loved it. So, but you got these on sale, right? I mean, yeah. that's why we ordered. It was twenty percent off everything. Because we wouldn't have normally ordered the coffee online. We would have normally just gone to Walmart. However. We checked the prices, and for you, you get 24 of these. Yeah, I don't have the price. And it was it was 20 percent off. It was like the normal. Total order. The normal cost is like 19 dollars, right? Somewhere like that, and we got them for like 14 or something. And at Walmart, crazy. you only get they sell this at Walmart, but you only get like 18 yeah, pots instead box. of 24. So these were cheaper than the very small. It box. was cheaper, so we went ahead and we thought we're just going to go ahead and order these, and hopefully they'll keep sending Kevin's. Kevin coupons. Oh yeah, I get them every day. Just and you have it for twenty percent off. Um, sometimes you don't get them that good, but it's like uh, sometimes it'll be ten percent off a machine, okay. stuff like that. So they send you. We already have the machine. Uh, okay, and what is? And this, this is the uh, descaling kit, uh, the cleaning kit. So it's descaler. It's two uh, water filters too. So our water filter was old. It, it only lasted about two Already. months. Already. 
that will last about, they're only supposed to go about two months. So, okay. so anyway, that's two filters. And then uh, you only do this every three to six months, I believe, the descaling. Okay. Just so it won't clog up things. So. But that is something that you do with these that you don't have to do with a regular coffee pot. Well, you yeah. de you're supposed to descale or, or clean I missed your coffee, coffee pot? Yeah, yours always popped up with clean and I had to run uh, vinegar or something to it. No, I'm talking about a basic Mr. Oh, coffee, yeah, the, coffee well, pot. Well, you just throw them away and get a new one. Yeah. So anyway. I didn't throw mine away until uh, the glass broke. No, I'm just saying it, it was. It, Don't show Ronald's address. Um, it um, it doesn't make for it makes better coffee when it's all clean. But. This is from Ronald in California, and I won't say your last name, Ronald, because I've said last names before, and then I've gotten into trouble. And actually, I've gotten in trouble just by saying first names. So you know. <laughs> can't win. Yeah, I can't win. Um, but Ronald told me that he was sending me something and I'm excited. Uh, Ronald has traveled. Um, we've talked about the United Kingdom in the past because he, he travels, I think, quite a bit. And um, I wish we could as well. Okay, let me see. Oh, and he typed it. That way I can read it. And it has his address and his phone number, everything's on here. Okay, dear Tammy and Kevin, first let me tell you how much I enjoy watching your vlogs, learning from your reviews, and sharing your wonderful family life. You are both so natural and are so down to earth. I started watching Kevin's Lunchtime Review and only discovered Tammy's channel by accident, and it's been a match made in heaven ever since. Well, that is so cool. Because usually it's it the other, other way, way around. around. Yeah. Um, I have been meaning to do this for so long and finally I'm getting around to it. I am a true chocolate lover and have been all my life. I like quality over quantity and do not think about eating chocolates that I consider to be inferior. I have been eating Cadbury's chocolates for decades. And Cadbury's before, good. Yeah, and before Hershey bought the rights to make it in the USA. Since then, the quality has gone steadily down over time to the point that I do not eat the USA version anymore. Unfortunately, Nestle's bought Cadbury's in the UK, and over the past two years, the quality has also gone down to the point wow. that I don't buy certain varieties anymore. What a shame. Anyway, I sent you the Cadbury's buttons mm -hmm. from the USA and the UK. The USA version was for Easter, and the UK version was brought to me by relatives on a visit. Buttons are a simple milk chocolate dot that looks like a super-sized whole house morsel but has a really wonderful taste. We have actually had them before and they are delicious. Mm -hmm. um, one would think a company couldn't mess up an item like that, but as you will taste, Hershey's managed to do it and very dramatically. <laughs> anyway, thanks for all you do for us and let me know if you can call Ron. Um, well, the Hershey's is definitely a cheaper chocolate. It's, it's, it's more manufactured. And it's Chocolate. greasier. Yeah, it's got a little um, And it's yeah. a shame. I hate it that people, that Americans think when they buy this Cadbury that they're having, that they're getting the real deal. I hate it that they, that they think this is what it tastes like when you buy it overseas because it it's isn't wrong. at all what it tastes like when you buy it overseas. Um, I hate that there's an American version, you know? So well, the American one. We, we have... Um, uh, we've had the, um, the milky, um, yeah, they're called the milky ones and they're the white ones. Um, and I'm sure we've had these before too. Actually, I know we have. Didn't we, when we were over in the United Kingdom, we bought some pudding and you took it and you dumped it. Yeah, I think so. And it yeah. had, I'm thinking it had buttons. Yeah, I don't know if do it, we're trying to buy themselves though. Oh yeah, we yeah. took a bite of them. So. Yeah, but I mean, we're of course we'll do a video of them. But I'm thinking it was a pudding because we bought them all the way across town. That was the day that we were carrying the really heavy bags. And but I'm thinking you dumped like over here they have the yogurt and you dumped the yeah, like a the, flip or something. Yeah, it was something like that. Or maybe it was the buttons were on top and you just threw them in there. Something, but you added them in there and it was really good. It added a lot of texture to it. So. Thank you very much for thinking of us. We really appreciate this. These are giant buttons. Mm -hmm. So, and I, I definitely haven't had the giant ones. I've just had the regular size. Of course, they'll taste the same, but thank you very, very much. Look where we're at today. Yay. Yeah.
<laughs> this is the Lexington Clinic um, and this is where I go to get my medicine and since they've made my medicine a regulated drug I can no longer wait a once a year to go I have to come every six months so oh, there's a place right there literally right there it is hard to find parking places around here yes so we're gonna squeeze our buns in here and uh, I'll see you when I get out I am already out. I got in and out of there. I got back at like, my appointment was at 1.45. I was sitting back in the room at 1.45. I didn't wait no time out in the waiting room. It is 1.53 and I'm out. I'm out in the car, we're leaving. That's how quick it was. But, let me tell you about my bathroom adventure. <laughs> so, I had to go, I drank a lot of the bottled water, so I, I had to go, I peed before I left the house. And a had, coffee. And a coffee, it's true. Uh, I went to the bathroom before I left the house, had to go again by the time we got here, which is like 20 minutes away. So anyway, it couldn't be helped. So I went to the bathroom, and they've got those nice uh, paper seat covers. And so I pulled one down and I got it on the seat, got it situated just perfectly. And I'm unbuttoning my pants. And by the time I had my pants unbuttoned, the automatic flush had come on and flushed the seat cover right down the toilet, right down it went. So I got another one, got another one down and I got it situated, and as I'm sitting down on the seat, it falls down into the water. So I thought, the heck with it, my buns are just gonna touch the seat, whatever. So that happened, so then I go out to the sink, and I, I got the soap in my hands, and I got my hands really, really good and soapy, a thick layer of soap, and I put my hand under the, the faucet, and no water comes out. Now there's two separate sinks, two separate faucets. I put my hand under both sinks, no water would come out. There's a little um, handle on the side that I thought, well, maybe this would make it go back and forth. I tried to get it to work that way. It would not work. I never could get it to work. I'm going to insert a little video clip here of the sink and me putting my hand under the sink and you seeing that no water comes out. So you saw no water came out at all so I had to just Thankfully, it wasn't those air dryers. They actually had the um, paper towel. So I was able to get a couple of those and just literally dry my hands, the soap, into my hands with the paper towel. I think you were still too high. I don't think you went low enough. Yeah, I showed Kevin the little video clip and he thinks I was too close to the- You're too high up. But th there's no directions. No. And I did go underneath halfway. Yeah, there I was did, two little black things though. You gotta be down I went. It shouldn't be that I know, hard. it shouldn't be that complicated. They shouldn't, yeah, it shouldn't be that complicated to, to use the sink. So, anyway, so that was my adventure. But when I went back in, it was so simple. Um, I, I went to a new girl, uh, new to me, we had never met before, uh, PA and a physician's assistant and she was very very nice and uh, she knew that i was just in there to get more medicine and next time i in six months since it is a controlled drug i have to go back in six months when i go back i'll be due for my yearly like i'll have to get blood work and stuff like that but i didn't have to get any of that done today so that was very very nice um but we um Kevin, it's like, I felt bad for him because, you know, you have to, um, you have to go in for these appointments and, uh, and literally we weren't back there five minutes, which was good for me. So, and it was a good thing you weren't doing anything today anyway. Kevin's students finished up for um, the semester, which means Kevin is Kevin will not have to go. He goes to like d different locations. He will not have to go to this location again except for one more time for a meeting. And um, then he, he won't have to go back in there until August. 
August sometime. Yeah, August. So that'll be nice. Um, so yeah, that'll be really, really nice. But um, tonight is our live stream. And I want you all to know right now, uh, I had a salad for lunch. And I thought about showing it to you just to prove it. But we both had salads for lunch. You had the... Did you have the turkey cob? Kevin had a turkey cob. I had the uh, chicken Caesar, the ready pack bistro salads, because we bought a bunch of those. If you watch our grocery hauls, we watch, we uh, bought a bunch of those. And um, But the reason I'm bringing it up is because uh, someone had wanted me to eat a halo top for dinner. I don't mind eating a halo top for dinner all the time because, I mean, it's, very it's nothing for me to eat i mean it's not like it's that many calories and i don't know why she wanted to for me to eat a halo yeah, top for dinner to but it's different so my phone's ringing i'm gonna get my phone marty from respect foods contacted me and asked me would i be willing to try uh, some of their uh, they have some beef burgers and turkey burgers and i said sure so um I told him that we do not get this brand in our area, but he said they're, um, they are available in the Northeast. And so I told him, I said, a lot of uh, my followers um, are in the Northeast. So I said, they would, I'm sure they would appreciate it if we tried these for, for you all. So that's what we're doing. So what is it? a cooler. Yes. With, With dry, dry ice. Dry ice, yes. Ooh. And it is frozen solid. So, <laughs> uh, I'm going to turn that over. Okay, so we have uh, Respect Wagyu Beef Burgers. And they use no antibiotics, 100% vegetarian fed cattle raised in the USA. This has three uncooked one third pound burgers. And this one is the turkey burgers. There are six quarter pound burgers in here. Three ingredients, turkey, sea salt, and rosemary extract. So all vegetarian diet. Okay, so I we can eat an all vegetarian diet. No, the, the beef, the, oh, the, the animals. The animals yeah. eat vegetarian. <laughs> I must be vegetarian, it's turkey. <laughs> and it's got a skillet, stove top, and, and grilling cooking. Oh food. good. Okay. Okay, because um I had I had told Kevin about these and I said, you know, we may want to try them uh, a couple different ways. And oh, it's um, Japanese beef. Uh, does it have okay cooking instructions on here? This is a skillet because I was thinking that uh, we would probably in, really enjoy cooking them on the grill. Mm -hmm. So it's good to know that there are both instructions here. So be looking for these. Like I said, they're going to be uh, available in the Northeast and. Um, he told me a specific store and I'll try, when I do the review, I'll try to have that store uh, written down because I, whatever it was, I said, we don't have that store here, but I'll do the review for you anyway, because it sounds like a lot of fun. So just be on the lookout for that. It has rained since the last time we were out here and you can see down in here, yeah, this is that grease trap. Yeah, that's that grease trap. Maybe you should keep it out. I have used, sometimes I'll take it and put it in here. Yeah, when you think about it, but if it's full of grease, it's probably you don't think about that. Hot. Well, I just right. use it. It's just water, ninety percent. I just dump it out. So we bought these. We went to Walmart, and you'll see these in the hall if you watch the grocery hall. Um, and we bought these, and at first Kevin didn't think they were going to be long enough, but then he read that they are adjustable. It says universal fits most brands. And how much were these each? Twenty. $20? Well, no, they were, they were $12. Because yeah. it was like $24 total. Yeah, they were $24 for two. So we went ahead and bought, uh, there's two in each package. And uh, we showed you, I think, we, that we threw all of those away. So uh, so what is the point of these again? It, just, it keeps the heat, like uh, distributes the heat. Airplane going There's from. an airplane going by. I was going to show it, but it's up in the clouds. You can't see it at all. It helps distribute the heat. That's what it does. Okay. I wonder how well these are going to be sliding like that. Because you know once, once you get them in there, it's not like you're going to move them ever again. Are these going to be too long? 
A little too flat. It looks like you can bend them, bend them any way to, yeah. Yeah, that works. Yeah, you just have to have to kind of bend them around and get them, because once you get them in there, you're, it's not like you're ever gonna move them again, exactly. right? Yeah. So I'm gonna let him fool with these, and we won't have to deal with this. Uh, listen to the scratching, but since we haven't been out here, it's been a few days anyway. Um, I've gotten uh, more green on my rose bushes, and that's about it. Kevin mowed the grass, but it, the weeds are everywhere, and it still isn't quite, I mean, it's a, it's a little bit warm out here, but not really. It's not warm enough for me to come out here and, and weed, so I know it looks terrible, but the first time I, I weed the yard, I will probably be out here like the entire day. I'll start and and I'll be out here for hours and hours and hours and my nails will look horrible and um, <laughs> you know uh, but it'll uh, it'll get finished it'll get done and let's go look at my hostas since it has been a few days and we'll see what they look like oh yeah they've grown they've grown from the from me showing you before yeah Oh, yeah, look at them now. Yeah, they look really, really good. And these are always going to be smaller because they're on this side. But these get really, really big. So, yeah, I'm impressed with that. Here comes the pug. Okay, here they are. Hey, my only complaint about them is there's nothing to lock them in place to where they won't slide. Right. So if you were to bump this or move it around any, they're probably just going to slide back together again and fall in there. Oh, so, I hope not. So you just got to be careful. Do you think bump. once you put the shelf on there, it will keep them stable? No, they don't touch. The shelves don't touch it. So. Oh. Oh, I see. Okay. Well, we'll just have to be really careful. Hopefully they'll just stay there. Yeah. With magic. It, with magic. <laughs> oh. All the hamburger. <laughs> yeah, now we'll get to cook that meat that we were sent. Yep. We're in Kroger, and they have a Kentucky Derby-themed table. Yeah, the the thing about the Derby is to have a really fancy hat, so they have this one that looks like a hat. And then they have some special cakes and cookies. Iced cookies. Ice cookies. And they have a vanilla cake up here. They have a little derby hat here. They have derby pie, which Kevin and I have made derby pie on the channel. And it's delicious. So, and then they have the roses because it's run for the roses. Well, I hope you enjoyed getting to see the um, derby table at Kroger. Uh, I just, I, it was something different that not every area is going to have, I guess, if you're not in Kentucky. So, I thought you all might enjoy seeing it. I wanted to tell you, um, they have a new Cherry L8 out now. L8 is a soft drink. It's made in Winchester. It's made right here in, in my hometown. Uh, they, um, uh, they uh, haven't had a new flavor in 90 years. Yeah, 90 years. And so I've never done a review of L8, of just even the regular L8. So I've been looking for this cherry L8, and it was funny because we were, there were over on the side up front on like the floor, there were, I don't know, there might have been 40 L8s uh, sitting there. And these two teenagers, well, they, they were probably early 20s. They were grabbing them up as quick as they could into their buggy. And I told Kevin, I said, I want one of those. And Kevin said, how many you want? I said, I want two. I got one for us to try, and I got one for Christina, because I know she really wants to try it. And um, so I said, I want two. But they were grabbing them up fast. And I told Kevin, I said, I bet you anything, they're buying them so that they can sell them somewhere else. So when we made the rounds and when we got back up front, Kevin said, yep, they got them all. They're all gone. And while we were standing there looking at something else, a guy came up. The huge pallet full of them. A huge pallet. I mean, it was loaded down with those cherry lights. And Kevin just started laughing because... 
those guys thought that they were getting the last ones that were in the store. And he, what did he say? He said, there's two more in the back. Yeah, he said, I've got two more in the back. So the joke was on them that they bought all those and they didn't have to. I just thought that was funny. Uh, the other thing I want to tell you is I did not know this. And I, I don't even, I don't think there's anything wrong with me telling you this. I was not told to keep this a secret. So I'm, I'm going to tell you and hope it's okay. Um... <laughs> Ask for forgiveness later, right? Um, they always, the, the cashiers always tell you, my name is so-and-so, and, -so, and uh, your bagger was this person, and you have a survey to fill out, and if you liked your survey, you, if you liked your service, please go online and fill out this survey, and uh, they're always super, super nice. So, my sister told me about a week ago that my niece, one of my nieces works at Kroger, and she said that she got a check in the mail last week, and she didn't know, she said, I, I didn't know why Kroger would be sell, uh, sending uh, her a check because it's like automatic deposit or something like that, so why would they be sending her a check? Well, she opened up the envelope, her daughter did, and it was a check for $30. And it was because somebody filled out a survey and they said that they got really good service from her. That's good. Cool. And so I she- I wonder if that's multiples or if that was just one. If it was a one-time- I mean, like, $30 seems to be off the $30 top is time. a lot. It does seem like a lot of money. So I agree with you. It was it one person that filled out a survey or was it many, many people that, I don't know. Uh, it's cool though. It is cool. I thought that was so neat. So when I'm assuming I I didn't know that they actually got like like a check in the mail. I didn't know what they got. I knew they were getting something because you can tell that because they all of a sudden there was this giant push to let's tell everybody who I am and to fill out the survey and all that. So. I knew there was something about it, but I didn't, just didn't know what. So, I just thought that was interesting. That's why they want you to do that is because uh, they're getting uh, some money out of it. I'm thinking the store gets some money, too. Oh, you think so? I thought so. I could be wrong, but I thought the store got a little bit of money if they get really high ratings, too. So, I don't, I don't know. So, now we're at the Dollar General because somebody asked me to try something, and they only have it at the Dollar General. So, I'll see you all in a little bit. We have a box to open. I have a no clue who... Hopefully I didn't put our address out there where it's in. No, we no, came to the PO <laughs> box. Oh, well, that's true, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, I have no clue who sent this. So this is gonna be a surprise. Okay, it's a gift receipt on the box. Oh, okay. Or a gift receipt right there. So be careful what you read. Uh, it just says it's Japanese candy. Japanese candy assortment. Premium selection of candy and snacks imported from Japan. No, oh, so well, we can, there's a website, there a link where you can go there and see, uh, send a thank you note. Oh, here's another piece. Oh, good. A gift for you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Michelle. Okay, thank you so much, Michelle. I, you know, you told me that you were sending me something, but since you ordered this, I guess, directly from the company and had it sent, it didn't have your name on it. So yeah. I was afraid to say this is going to be from Michelle, but okay, well, good. I'm this glad I got Japan it. Japan Epic Box. Oh. Epic Candy. So this is, is this like a munch pack? I don't know. I bet it is. <gasps> it is. Wait, 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 wait. This is like a munch pack. So you don't want to, I don't, don't want to. You don't want to ruin a surprise? No, I don't think we should open it. I mean, I, I know... It feels like you get like... There, look like there's four things. Okay, I know I'm being a bummer for this vlog. No, there's more than that. There's more than the bottom. Okay. We'll I'm, look it up, but then we'll do a separate video where we we're gonna do a se Yeah, we're going to do a separate video because I'm going to... Michelle, I hope you don't mind. So, what I'll do, and that way I can take pictures of everything in here before we try it, but I've never opened up one of these before. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, this is awesome. So, I just want to make sure that I take pictures of everything, and I don't know, that we enjoy. So, so we'll do it. Well, we can open, we can still open it up and take, so if you're going to take pictures, you're going to see everything in here anyway. Yeah. You're, you're going to ruin the surprise anyway. Yeah. Unless you take pictures afterwards. Like, open it up and then take pictures. 
after we've already tried stuff. No, I don't want to take pictures. You have to take pictures before you try it. That way you can... Then you get the surprise is ruined. So how do you think we should do Just it? Just do it afterwards if you want it to be surprised. Okay, so take pictures after. We just finished doing that box opening and FedEx rang the doorbell and we got a box uh, at the door. Can you cover our address? Yeah. I'm letting Kevin open this box because this is something, this company asked me if I would try these and I it's said- It's been a while back too, isn't it? It's been a couple weeks, yeah. but I told them yes and I had just forgotten because it's been a few weeks and sometimes I think companies change their mind. Um, but I told Kevin I want him to open this box because this is something for him and Andrew to try. I think it's going to be him and Andrew. These are, it's Rudolph's Southern Recipe Barbecue Pork Rinds. And it's another barbecue. Another barbecue. And there's uh, Hot and Spicy. And just the original. So I thought that cool. would be cool. You and Andrew will enjoy trying those, won't you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, and we'll are these it. the kind that you heat in the microwave? Um, I think you, just, you could. Probably. You could. I know a lot of people that are on that low, I think it's low Atkins, carb diet. Atkins or like, ex, yes, they eat a lot of pork rinds. I yeah. know that. So these are really good for those diets. There are three and a half servings in these bags. That's amazing. Yeah, but no carbs. No, see, that's why it's great for that of low carb diet. Of course, they're five grams of fat. But, you know. but if you're on a low carb diet, I mean, this is what you fat. eat yeah. and people lose weight. So oh, yeah. I thought you all would enjoy seeing Kevin open a box for once. Yeah. So they're actually up the high calorie. The, the, the barbecue ones are only 80 calories. But if we can get Andrew over here to do that review, that's who we'll get. Cause, yeah. cause you all enjoy, You'll enjoy that. Yeah. Well, I'm going to end the vlog for this week. Uh, Kevin and I, Kevin has to work tomorrow. It's Friday. So it's not like, we're gonna be doing anything big for me to film. And so I figured if I end the vlog here on Thursday evening, uh, we can, I can save it and I can start, if anything does happen tomorrow, then I can start a new week tomorrow. I was going to talk about the Real Housewives. <laughs> and because someone asked me about the, someone in last night's live, uh, live feed asked, about the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills and they thought this season was kind of boring. And once I started thinking about it, I hadn't watched the first part of the reunion yet. And so I watched it today, I had recorded it. So I watched it today and I got to thinking about the season. I thought, you know what, it, it really was, I guess it was kind of a boring season. Uh, not a lot not a lot happened uh so it was kind of boring but i i started i thought i'll do something fun i'll write down my favorite and then my least my favorite housewife and then my least favorite housewife and then i thought well i'll write down my favorite house who has my favorite house and then i thought well i'll write down who I would like to see make a comeback. You know, if they were gonna bring somebody back that was a, a former housewife, who would I would like to see come back? And so then I thought, well, I want them to just talk about Beverly Hills, I'll talk about Orange County. So I started writing all this stuff down and I thought, you know what, this is gonna take too long. <laughs> it's gonna take too long to put at the end of this video. And so I thought, I'll make a video of just just Real Housewives stuff. For for those people who are just interested in the Real Housewives, I, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make a video and I will probably record it before this comes out. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm plan on, I'm gonna, I thought I would talk about my favorite and then my least favorite and then my least favorite secondary character. If if there is somebody who constantly shows up on the show, um, but they're not an actual character, and then usually that person you don't like. So I thought I would talk about my least favorite secondary character. And then my favorite house. Um, yeah, and so I, I, I thought I would do Beverly Hills and New York City. And then I have Orange County, New Jersey, and then Ladies of London. Ladies of London will be very, very short because they don't have a lot of secondary characters on Ladies of London. 
they haven't been on long enough for anybody to make a comeback and the least favorite i just i just don't have a least favorite ever because like i said they haven't been on long enough um we unfortunately do not get cheshire here i wish we did um and you know what i kevin's gonna walk by me i just thought of another one that i've watched um melbourne I have watched the Real Housewives of Melbourne, Australia, so I need to include that to the list too. And it might be short, like Ladies of London was shorter. That might be shorter too. I don't know. I'll have to take a look at that. Um, so anyway, if that kind of video interests you, then I'm going to make it. And you know, it might not interest you at all, but if you all watch those shows, then I will be very interested in seeing some comments about your favorites and the ones you don't like and all that. So, um, but we watched uh, the first Handmaid's Tale last night after the live feed. We watched Survivor and then we watched uh, the first Handmaid's Tale and this season looks like it's going to be so good. It, it really does and I know um, it could go different ways so far from what, you know, of course it's just the first episode, but, but it could go many different ways. But, um, anyway, it's, it's an excellent show. So, but I'm going to let you go for the week. I hope you all enjoyed it. I hope you had a great week and hope you have a good one to come and thanks for watching.